In this video, I'm going to attempt to turn this little cosmetic pouch here from Louis Vuitton into a crossbody bag, or maybe more simply, I'm going to attempt to add a strap to it. Keep watching, see if I succeed, see why I want to do it in the first place, and see how I do it, because you might want to do it too, if it works. <laughs> YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post a new video, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is that you get to see my community posts on your YouTube homepage, and that's where I post things like rare finds and deals, sales, discount codes on these things we love. All right, I want to take this pouch. This is a Louis Vuitton cosmetic pouch in the small size. There's a larger one. So this is the PM, the larger is the GM. And this is the Jungle Dots print from a few years ago. I had never thought about getting a cosmetic pouch, one of the domed ones like this, uh, for a few different reasons. I find that the dome and then the sort of triangular shape of the end don't allow you to fit as much as I would like to fit in a little bag this size. And I don't use it as a cosmetic pouch. I got it to use as a little clutch as a little handbag. Partly because of the pattern. I really like the pattern. I wanted to get it because of that, but because of the pattern, the animation on it, and knowing that over time rubbing against it can make that animation, or the silk screening, can make it rub off and wear off, I don't want to use it inside other bags as a pouch. Those are all reasons that I got it to use as a clutch, as a little handbag. And since I purchased it, I've only used it that way once. Part of that is because I think of it more as a spring-summer kind of bag. Part of it is COVID. We haven't really been out. The one time I did use it was at a restaurant, and that would have been a year and a half ago. I'm also not a big clutch person, so like there are lots of reasons I shouldn't have this, right? But I love it, so I have it. I really like a bag with a strap on it, so I'm going to attempt to put a strap on it today. I saw a video a long time ago where somebody did this, and they were successful with it, and I have tried to find the hardware to make it happen, like on Amazon and stuff. Couldn't find the right size. When these came up, this is the hardware you need, at Dress Up Your Purse, and we know that with Melody at Dress Up Your Purse, she's gonna give you the exact size that you need for your Louis Vuitton pouch, and you're not gonna have to do any guesswork. I was like, yes, please, let me have some of those, and I'm gonna try this here. I have tiny screwdrivers that the guy is letting me borrow, so we're gonna see if we can make this happen, and I have several different strap options. I'm also going to use my little vlogging camera and set it up on my desk so that you can hopefully see this up close instead of seeing it way back here. Please hold. All right, we're all set up. It appears to be in focus. And I'm gonna show you on this side because we don't have the zipper in the way that right here on this Vachetta tab, it has a loop here, right? Where the Vachetta is folded under. And you can see that you can see straight through that loop. So that is where we're going to attempt to attach these rings. I cannot see because these are so, so tiny, but there should be a little screw in there and I can't tell if it's a flathead or a Phillips. So I'm just gonna try different screwdrivers here and see what works. It does appear to be a little flathead. Oh, I see. I was gonna say the, when I started turning it, the this was moving, but it's supposed to. It's not a separate screw, thank goodness, because imagine how tiny that screw would be. So you just unscrew it and it pulls out like this. So then we'd want to slip that metal piece right through here. It's a pretty tight fit, actually. It's tighter than I was expecting. I'm having a lot of trouble getting this through there. It's like it's catching on something. And I thought I'd be able to fold that little loop down a little bit to make the opening wider, but that's not really working. I'm seeing that the loop folds over into the canvas right there. Not sure how clear that is. Let me try it on the other side. It's hurting my fingers to push it through. So I'm trying to use the screwdriver to push it down. 
down. Using the screwdriver is definitely helping me and I'm turning it as I go. Oh, there, I finally got it through. So even though there's nothing for it to screw into, just the turning motion was helping some. Okay, I just need to get it centered now. I think you can tell it's sticking out more here than it is there. All right, I got it centered. I did this wrong, didn't I? It has to still be attached on one side. Ugh. Okay, well I think it'll be easier to get it through now now that I've done it once. This is more difficult than I was expecting it to be. And by the way, none of this damages the bag at all, which is the great thing about it. Okay, so it goes in like this, and now I have to get it through. Get that zipper out of the way, it's bugging me. So a little thing I just noticed, I finally got it started in there, is just the tiny thickness of the metal here on the u-hook is enough that it makes it a little difficult to get the rod part in okay i had to take it out and start over because i noticed that only one side of the little rod has the flathead screw part on it and i had had it going the wrong way so i've taken it out and it only fits in here a certain way so i need to unscrew it right now and try again and then once it goes through the vachetta getting it lined up to go in on the other side because it's a really tight fit is a little difficult too that's why it'll help to use the screw end over here you also have to be careful because the screwdriver will slip and you don't want to pierce your louis vuitton piece or scratch it oh all right success so this now will swivel up and down that's one side done so if you or you're just using it as a cosmetic you could keep it down but if you're gonna add a strap to it you may want to have it up and now we go to this side all right that side was a lot easier and faster now that i know what i'm doing so here's one side here's the other side and i'm gonna switch back to my regular camera all right that was a little more challenging than i expected but we got it done i'm gonna move the zipper out of the way just so you can see this a little better so there we have the clips on both sides there's one and there's the other one, and they're a perfect fit. They're tight, but they're not so tight that they're gonna damage the piece. They're, they're just absolutely the perfect fit. Now, when you have this zipped all the way, it does run into that little D-ring a little bit, so you just fold that down, or if you have a strap on it, you can have it up. And let me show you a few different strap options for this. One that would be really pretty is a chain, and just about all of the strap options I'm showing you are also from Dress Up Your Purse. So Melody does have this chain here. Now, this is something I was expecting too. So because this was not intended to be a bag, and because the loops are pretty far down on it, it will have a tendency to tip forward on you a little bit, but or do this tip sideways. But if you are wearing it, it's up against your body, then it's not gonna do that so much. Let's pretend that's my body. So it'll say it's straight like that, but isn't that pretty? Doesn't that chain just elevate the piece? It's it's just lovely. Now, if you don't want something quite so sparkly and blingy, you could add a vachetta strap. This is also from Dress Up Your Purse. There you go. This will tie into the vachetta there. Work really well as well. It depends on the piece you have or the look you're going for, what strap you might use. I also have my crossbody strap in the Ben leather. And this one is from Louis Vuitton. It's from my Eva clutch. But I'm pretty sure Melody sells this too. And you may think the Aben strap would only go with Damier Aben, right? I have found that I really love the Aben straps with monogram pieces because they tie into the brown and the canvas. And it looks great. And I don't think the clash of the strap and the vachetta there is a big deal at all. I don't really think that's noticeable. But that looks great. Let me try one more thing. Actually, scratch that. I want to try two more things. One is this short gold chain, which you could use. I was going to say you could use it as decorative, but it just hangs below the bag. So I don't know. Carry it around as a clutch and have the chain hanging, maybe. Or could it be used as a short strap? Mm, maybe not. I don't like that. It needs to be a little bit longer. I think she does sell one that's longer than this. Let me measure this one so we know. It's still a short chain, but pretty sure this is the shortest of the two that she has. Let's see, the chain itself measures 11 inches, and then with the hooks, it's 13 inches. Pretty sure she has a longer one. 
so that could work well as a strap. But then I forgot, along with this packet of things she sent me, I also got this strap. And this is intended as a replacement strap, or what I got it for was a replacement strap on a pochette accessoire. But it could be, if you wanted a shorter strap and not a crossbody strap on this little pouch, that would be perfect. A little shoulder strap on here. Oh, I love it. I think that's my favorite one. Again, it's gonna tip on you. It's roly-poly, but you could wear it just like this tiny pouch, right? Ta-da! And this strap with the clips measures 23 inches, and that equates to about 59 centimeters. And she has these straps in Vachetta, like a, a clean, almost white Vachetta like this, and then this one, compare the two for you. You can see one is a little darker, that's the honeyed patina. And then also she has different options for the edges. You can get a red edge or a clear edge. And that's on pretty much all of her straps, I think. So if you're trying to match a strap to a Louis Vuitton bag that you have, whether it's brand new or pre-loved or very pre-loved, she's gonna have a strap that'll match your bag pretty much perfectly. Well, I am very happy with this. This was a little bit of a learning curve, but hopefully my learning curve helped you so you won't struggle with it quite as much as I did. I think that's a fantastic option. Of course, I will link these little links below. There are two sizes of these hooks and this is the small size. The larger size, Gwenny, of Styled by Gwenny, she tried to use those on another Louis Vuitton piece and it didn't work out for her. It wasn't as clear cut as something like this. But you can see in her video, if you want to get a better idea for the size of the big clips, I will link that because they're much bigger. All right, what do you think? Would you ever wear a cosmetic pouch as a bag? For me, honestly, I think the larger pouch, the GM, would be a better size because I tend to carry more than what fits in here. But the GMs don't come with the pretty designs, only the PMs do. Hmm. But I've still thought about getting a GM pouch. They're just so dang expensive right now. The prices have gone up so much. I'm still tempted to get one. We'll see, maybe someday. Let me know what you think about this little trick in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope that you and your loved ones are doing well. Hope to see you back here next time. And I hope you are having a fantastic day. Bye.